Mary Elizabeth Bowser Mary Elizabeth Bowser was born a slave on a plantation somewhere around the year 1838. The plantation she was born on belonged to Mr. and Miss John Van Lu of Richmond, Virginia. After the death of John Van Lu, his wife, Miss Van Lu, and their daughter decided to free their slaves. The Van Lu family arranged for Bowser to be educated in Philadelphia. Whilst in Pennsylvania, Mary sent back regular reports to the Union officials on the activities that were going on. But when tensions increased between the North and the South, Bowser returned to work as a household servant for the Van Lu family. After the start of the Civil War, the Van Lu family recommended Bowser for a position on the Davis household staff. As an undercover spy and servant, Bowser began working inside the White House of Confederacy, spying on President Jefferson Davis. Mary Bowser was very intelligent but to be successful at her job, she pretended to be a bit dull and unconcerned. She listened and memorized conversations among the president and his men as she served them at their dinner table. She read warfare dispatches as she dusted their furniture. And so it's been told, she would run away each night to the Van Lu mansion to report the military plans that she heard each day. The Confederate president never discovered that Mary was a secret leak to his empire. To this day, little is known about what happened to Mary Bowser after the Civil War or when, where, and how she died. The U.S. government destroyed any record of her, as well as the Van Lu family. This is the story of Mary Elizabeth Bowser. Like, subscribe, and share to help encourage other melanated people to fight for what they believe in. Once Upon a Melanin. This video and information is brought to you by Lithi the Queen, Shanti the God. Sponsored and supported by the Morals of Elevate Nation. Thanks for watching.